All right, so where are we going, Harry? We're going to Hobart. Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday and the second week of the winter school holidays. The kids and I are sick of Launceston and we need a break. So we're getting in the car really early. It's cold, it's foggy. And we're gonna go to Hobart and we're gonna have fun and I'm gonna do a road trip and Chloe's filming too. Yay! And Harry's in the front with me, shotgun. So we're probably gonna be, we're gonna listen to the Beatles. Woo! Welcome back to your calling show. Yay! What do you say, Harry? Yay! <laughs> we're gonna go get some petrol. Campbelltown! So what are we doing, Chloe? Chloe's got potato pie. Now I'm happy. I've got my coffee and my sandwich. And chloe got a hot chocolate and a marshmallow. And Harry's got his brioche. Very fancy. Breakfast done! Time to get back on the road! On the road again! I can't wait to get on the road again! I hope that ain't copyrighted! Anyway... <laughs> We're going to the Mona. And what is it? It's a museum of old and new art. So we just pulled up at Mona, the Museum of Old and New Art. It's a big facility here in Mona, which is part of Hobart. Um, it was created by a rich eccentric dude. <laughs> He's a bit controversial, but not everything here is controversial. That's art. These are the back of the accommodations that they have here. They've got names. I think they name them after artists. Um, and the accommodation here is like $1,000 a night. Yeah. I think you can get it discounted for like $700 a night. Still a lot of money. People come from all over the country to come here. Or even all over the world. But we're lucky because we're locals. We get in for free. This place is huge. The of it's down the hill a bit. So the museum actually is under where we are. So we're actually above some rock and it's like dug under. We're gonna go in the lift that goes down into the rock. Down, 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 down. See, you dug into the rock. So we're on B3, which is like right down the bottom. And we're just sitting in a little like sitting area that's near where you get a little like iPod, iPad thing. A little iPod. And it actually, so it says, that's where you go. Yeah. So and we've got headphones so we can put them on and, mine and listen. So you can stand here. All right. your special iPad and get stuff come up. What do you think of this exhibition? It's pretty cool isn't it? You go and you go and you scan stuff. It's an Egyptian mummy. Some of this stuff's a bit out there, but 
Some of this stuff's really cool. Hey, real? They are, they're alive. Not everything here is bad. Some of it is. <laughs> the cloaker, clock clacker machine was created by Belgium artist Wim Delvoy. It accurately mimics the workings of the human digestive system. Scientists have actually recruited this machine to help them in the fight against bowel cancer. We're having a food and water break. Harry's new book. <laughs> I'm having trouble with this. Chocolate croissant. <laughs> Pork. Mm. I can't Ham and it. cheese. To the other end of it was this big room, this little room. And you talk to the people outside. And here they are talking to the people on the other side. Oh. It's a rainbow. The cool thing about this place is no matter where you look, there's always something else. So that's the main city right over there, the Derwent Entertainment Centre, and that's the top of Mona. So we finished going to the art gallery and we saw some really interesting artwork and we also had some lunch there at the cafe and now we're going up Mount Wellington to hope, and we're going to hope that we can like see any snow at the top. We went to Mount Wellington, but we couldn't go to the very tippy top. Why not? Because when it's really snowy, then we have to go to certain points because it's dangerous. We drove all the way up the hill, and the council guy is closing the gates because apparently the weather's not very good up there. So we've got almost as far as you can and then have to stop and go back. It looks like we're being rained on, but I think we're being snowed on because of the windscreen. It kind of looks a bit like ice or snow. So we're hoping that it's snowing. <laughs> It'd be cool if it snowed to really low and yeah. then we could kind of get safely up the mountain to one of the former stops mm -hmm. and then we can still like safely go and play in the snow but not go too far up. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be all cool. But we're currently stuck in traffic. We're not, we haven't been moving for a little while. Kids have gone up to the room. Surprise the kids. Um, oh, wow. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So, there's a Hobart water friend. It's the big icebreaker over there that goes down to Antarctica. <laughs> Thank you for booking a room with this type of view. Oh my gosh. Ah! Harry, where are we going? Pizza Hut, all you can eat. It's pretty cool, eh? So we just had tea and Harry had a red drink oh. and I somehow knocked it over and because they have only plastic cutlery and crockery and whatever here, it was really light. So it just went everywhere, all over my pants, all over my new shoes. And all over the white table. The white table. Chloe and I have been trying to clean it up. So yeah, we went to Kmart. So we had to go to Kmart. 
to get me new trousers because my current ones are a bit sticky. <laughs> hey guys, I'm actually probably Just having a chill out in our room. Well, it's a good night from Hobart. <laughs>